Maestro. Maestro. Dirty. Yes! Wow. This is cool. Let it go. How about you hold it? Oh. There's a lady in the weed. Hello and welcome to my dirty yard. Sorry, get some air in off that. <laughs> What's up, fam? How you feeling? How's everybody doing here today? I um, want to give a little dirty short shout out to Henri Simpson. Now, it might be Henry, but in my book, I'm always called you Henri just because it's just it's cooler. And I mean, you know, it makes you sound like you got money, which you probably do. Um, really love watching you in the run. And what I really like about what you brought to all parts of your game was your heart. That was so key to the point of what I saw as your strong suit. Uh, you were willing to go in the post, to defend bigger players. And most of the time you're going up against Mozgov, which is a handful by itself. And you held your own. You made him change his game. And, and that says a lot with what you're at right now. You keep building on that. You're just going to get stronger, right? On the other side of the table, um, I really liked how you committed to your first step all the way through every play. That's something you should do more. Uh, don't be afraid to use the different parts of the court when you're bringing the ball up. You'll bring it up straight 6 o'clock to 12 o'clock. I know in a run it's kind of hard to make space. But you be the commander. You make everybody move. You're bringing the ball up. You're the boss. You put everybody in positions where they want to be. Which brings me to this. One more step. One more step across the table. And here's what I mean when I say that. When you come up, don't take that one more step toward the arc. Now you started doing that toward the end of the run, which is really good because then you started performing better. Because that space and your quickness gave you the ability to move the way that you naturally do. And you're able to drive to the post and do things like that to sort of take advantage of your quickness. Um, but also, so give yourself, don't take that extra step toward, 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 toward the arc when you're bringing the ball up and you're the offense. When you are resetting up and moving after you make a pass, take that other step away from the ball to give yourself even more space to be an outlet. Uh, don't just take the ball. And you did this a couple of times. You made the pass either left or right, and then you took, you took three or four steps and then stopped. Don't do that. Step away from whoever you're running by. And if you're going to use a screen, use a screen. You made a lot of great back cuts, except you didn't finish them. You would go, you would run, you'd stop, and then you'd continue through. And there's nothing wrong with that if you're arcing your pattern, but you basically continue through into more traffic, taking away the, one of your strengths you have in terms of that quick first step. So don't be afraid to use that. Um, I love the fact that you're able to shoot from the midi range, the long distance range, and willing to go down in the post and get ugly. I always love when guards do that. That just makes it so awesome. Keep that up, man. Uh, can't wait to keep watching you fall. I think hopefully most of the smell is out by now. Hopefully, uh, as you grow and build on that, you're definitely going to be a plus for wherever you end up in sim world prep. So definitely appreciate your game. You guys know what's up. Holla at your boy. Let me know what you want to think about. Let me know how you want to think about it. Let me know how you want to talk about it. All right. You know the deal. Never let Jason Bourne borrow your car. Oh, wait. You want me to read? Thank you again for checking out the Maestro Sturdy Choice. Drop a tag below and give us a piece of your mind. The Maestro. Dirty. Ah!